memories of a stroll along the beach are transformed into an artwork. It's made by bacteria growing on an old slide. Digitally enlarged, it produces meter-high pictures. Wolfgang Ganta had the idea to infect slides with bacteria. My work with bacteria began by chance. When I was studying art in Karlsruhe, I would always find old slides in the garbage. I took them because I knew these were original moments from other people's lives. Moments you shouldn't throw away. But corrode with bacteria instead. In his Berlin studio, Wolfgang Ganter grows different strains of bacteria and then uses them to alter the old slides. His pictures sell for around 6,000 euros each. But many buyers don't want to know how the artwork is made. I managed to infect myself a couple of times. I infected my eye once, which became pretty swollen. All of my eyes white was yellow. I was really relieved when it healed a week later. This box is a handmade incubator. Bacteria need a lot of warmth to grow. Ganter will let pieces develop for weeks, months and sometimes years. And every year, he inspects and sorts tens of thousands of pictures. The patterns the bacteria make are random. But because he has worked with a number of bacterial strains, he can sometimes predict what the piece will look like. I have a pretty high tolerance for disgusting things. You need to have one for this type of art. But I'm too fascinated with the process of decay to let that keep me from my work. What really happens, what grows, how things change and how you can influence the results, it all really interests me. After the bacteria have grown, Ganter will take up to 2,000 photos of each slide with a camera mounted on a microscope. He compiles the photos in his computer and transforms the centimeter-small slides into massive prints. I don't define myself as a classic artist. I try not to define myself and to remain open. If I come to a point where my work doesn't interest me anymore, then I will immediately stop doing it because I want to stay true to myself. Two years ago, Ganter took photos of paintings hanging in the Louvre, one of the most renowned museums in the world. He then subjected his photos of these masterpieces to decay. For example, Peter Bruegel's The Tower of Babel. His bacterial pictures are presented at exhibitions around the world. Ganter has collected more than two million slides and is constantly buying more, mostly on the internet. As he looks through them, he will often discover a remarkable moment in a stranger's life a moment he wants to leave just as it is. What I really enjoy about my work is that it never gets boring. There's always something new, something new that I can try. Every bacteria has a different reaction, and many are completely unique. The universe of bacteria. Wolfgang Ganter couldn't imagine a more beautiful medium to work with.